What's happening, you seed starting dudes and dudettes? Levi here, and it is a glorious day. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, we're on this side of the grass, and I slipped out of work for a few minutes to shoot this intro. Today we're going to talk about biodegradable seed starting pots. Uh, we'll start with what I like about them, and one of those things is that they're convenient. I like that there's very little waste, just the plastic wrap that goes around the top of them. But I don't like what happens if you use them according to the manufacturer's instructions. We'll go into more depth coming up. So some people really like these biodegradable pots. and. I'm not here to tell anybody how to live their lives, but I want to give you guys something to think about if you do decide to use these biodegradable pots. Just look at the way these roots have grown around themselves and in together. The manufacturers will have you believe that you can just plot the whole thing in the dirt, it will rot, and the plant will be healthy. Well, it might grow, but it won't thrive because these roots need to be pulled apart so they can reach fresh soil. And if they are left tangled up like this, that's as far as the roots are gonna extend if they're all grown into themselves. So, it's just a little food for thought. Do what you want. And I like to say the only people that never mess up are the ones not doing anything, so, you know, if you do have some plants in the ground and you use these biodegradable, biodegradable pots, I wouldn't dig them up this year, especially if they're annuals. But, you know, it'd be, it'd be something to keep in mind in the future. Subscribe if you haven't already for my weekly-ish videos. I'll talk to you guys again soon.